After 20 years in space, the Cassini spacecraft that was sent to study Saturn and its moons will be ending its mission in a dramatic way. On the 15th of September 2017, the spacecraft will plummet into Saturn, performing a spectacular dive deep into the planet's atmosphere where it will burn up and be destroyed, ending a long and valuable lifetime of discovery. Originally launched in October 1997, it took the craft nearly seven years to reach Saturn, arriving in July 2004. At this point, Cassini was actually carrying another unmanned craft, a lander called Huygens. Huygens' mission was to land on the surface of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, and to communicate back to Earth the readings it took, utilising the Cassini orbiter as a relay. It achieved a landing on Titan in January 2005, and became the first landing ever to occur in the outer solar system. The probe examined the properties of the atmosphere and surface of Titan, before sending the collected data to Earth. The Cassini orbiter had a four-year-long mission to complete after first arriving at Saturn, but after this, the craft had two extensions to its mission so that it could observe changes to Saturn and its moons as the seasons changed and sunlight touched different parts of the planet. During its two decades of space exploration, this craft has been responsible for some truly incredible discoveries. Cassini discovered the first signs of water on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, where it took images that showed huge plumes of liquid erupting from the surface. In 2008, the craft flew very close by to the moon, about 50 kilometers away, and actually traveled through the plumes that were being shot out into space. The probe was then able to detect the presence of water and later confirmed that underneath the outer surface, there is in fact a global ocean on Enceladus. This makes the moon one of the most likely places in the solar system to host alien life. Cassini also performed a great number of flybys of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. On its first encounter with the moon, it took images that showed clouds on the south pole that were made up of methane. On later flybys, the probe was able to confirm the presence of large lakes of liquid methane on the surface of Titan. This made the Cassini spacecraft the first probe to detect stable bodies of surface liquid anywhere in the universe other than Earth. In addition, Cassini identified seven new moons orbiting Saturn, another remarkable achievement. And not only was this spacecraft responsible for such important discoveries, but it also represents a fantastic international partnership. Cassini's mission was a huge collaboration between the European Space Agency, the Italian Space Agency, and NASA. However, Cassini has been in space for such a long time that it has now almost completely run out of fuel. The operators of the craft have sent it on its final course, performing several dives between Saturn and its inner rings, trying to collect as much data as it can before it embarks on its final dive that sends it burning into Saturn. The reason for this dramatic end is to preserve the condition of Saturn's many moons, avoiding doing any damage to them with debris from the craft. Although its mission might be ending now, Cassini has made such important contributions to science and to our understanding of the solar system, and all the data it has collected over its lifetime has been put to good use, and will lead to countless new discoveries being made over the next few years about the incredible universe we live in. And of course, it has shown us the possibilities of life elsewhere in our own solar system, opening the way for missions to seek out new life on Saturn's moons. If you would like to learn more about our wonderful complex universe and the life we share it with, please remember to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.